टुडे आई विल टॉक अबाउट द डेरिवेशन ऑफ ऑयलर इक्वेशन फ्रॉम द ऑयलर इक्वेशन आई विल डिराइव बार्नोलेज इक्वेशन बार्नोलेज इक्वेशन फॉर टू डिफरेंट पॉइंट्स इज पी वन बाई रोजी प्लस भी वन स्क्वायर बाई टू जी प्लस जेड वन इज इक्वल टू पी टू बाई रोजी प्लस भी टू स्क्वायर बाई टू जी प्लस जेड टू इज इक्वल टू कॉन्स्टेंट नाउ फर्स्ट आई विल डिराइव द ऑयलर इक्वेशन कॉन्सिडर एन इम्प्रेसिबल नॉन भिस्कस फ्लूड flowing along a steam line in the s direction so that is s direction take a small cylindrical fluid element so this is small cylindrical element that has cross sectional area del a and length del s cross sectional area del a and length is del s remember the fluid is incompressible mean density is constant and fluid is non viscous means viscosity is zero now here that fluid flowing along a stream line so what is stream line stream line is a line that is a tangent to the velocity vector of the flow at every point the equation for stream line is dx by u is equal to dy by v is equal to dz by w so here u v w are the velocity component in the x y and z direction respectively now cylindrical fluid element is shown in this picture so here is the cylindrical fluid element and fluid flow is happening along with the stream line and stream line s and weight of the fluid element w is acting downward direction so we know so that is downward direction okay so w is nothing but mass into acceleration so that is equal to rho into volume into g so that is rho into del a del a is the cross sectional area into del s del s is the length of the fluid element into g s into g so w is rho del a into del s into g now here line of the action of the weight of the uh, of the the fluid element makes an angle theta with the direction of the flow or st stream line so now if we decompose that weight force so one weight force means if we decompose so so one that is that horizontal and another is vertical so one component that act opposite to the flow so that is nothing but rho delta a delta s g into cos theta now if you see here so another that blue triangle actually i have drawn here i am taking i am considering this line as a datum line from here to the upper surface the distance i am considering as a del z means from the datum line to that that uh, point of the upper surface so that is del z now this line and this line makes uh, par means this line and this lines are parallel to each other so as it is a theta so this also be a theta now we we have we, we know that fluid element length is del s and the um, that uh, from the datum line to that other point is del z so from here so cos theta is nothing but del z by del s so that is del z small del z by small del s so we know that cos theta relation or we can get uh, theta also from this relation now first uh, we have to uh, take the different force means force acting on the fluid element so pressure force on the lower face of the cylinder so that is p into del a and pressure force on the upper face of the cylinder so this this one so p plus del p by del s into del s into del a and we know that angle between that axon of the weight and the steam line so that is theta so one component of the weight of the elements act opposite to the flow so that is rho g del a del s cos theta now apply to the newton second law so the net force on the fluid element is equal to the mass times acceleration so now p minus p minus this pressure force this p plus del p by del s into del s okay into del a minus rho g del a del s cos theta into mass this is mass rho into del a into del s this is mass and dv by dt change of velocity by change of time so that is acceleration so this is force 
net force and this is mass into acceleration so now that is newton second law of motion from here if we simplify so minus so now here so p and p will be cancel out okay now so we'll get minus dp ds into del a del s minus rho g del a del s cos theta is equal to rho del a del s dv by dt now if i divide with rho del a del s so dv by dt will be 1 by rho dp by ds minus g dot cos theta now we know that dv by dt is nothing but acceleration so v is the function of s and t so we can write so as is equal to dv by dt is equal to delta v by del s ds by dt plus delta v that delta t so now ds by dt is nothing but v so v into del v del s plus del v delta t so now if i plug this del v delta t in that equation so we will get v del v del s plus del v del t is equal to minus 1 by rho dp by ds minus g cos theta so this is nothing but the Euler equation now if i consider this flow is steady flow so del v by del t is equal to 0 so now acceleration will be dv dt is equal to v del v by del s now now that that equation becomes so this is 0 so equation become v del v del s is equal to 1 minus 1 by rho dp ds minus g cos theta now for steady uh, steady flow along with a stream line we got this equation v del v del s is equal to minus 1 by rho dp ds minus g dot cos theta so this is the euler equation for steady flow now from here i will derive Bernoulli equation so now so integrate both side so integration of this term uh, uh, integrate both side with respect to s so integration of this term into del s then integration of this term into del, del s minus integration of this term into ds now we know the cos theta is dz by ds okay so from here we can write v dv ds into ds is equal to minus 1 by rho dp ds into ds minus g dz ds into ds so now if i simplify so we'll get integration of v dv ds into ds minus 1 by rho integration of dp minus g del z now if i do the integration will get v square by 2 is equal to minus p by rho minus gz plus c so here c is the integration constant now if you if you write like this way so p plus half rho v square plus rho gz that will be constant another way we can also write p by rho g plus v square by 2g plus z that is is equal to constant so these three equation is nothing but the Bernoulli's equation with different form so now actual Bernoulli's equation is p by rho g plus v square by 2g plus z is equal to constant so here p by rho g is nothing but pressure energy per unit weight of the fluid so that is also called pressure head v square by 2g is nothing but kinetic energy per unit weight so that is kinetic head and z is potential energy per unit weight that is called potential head now here that Bernoulli's equation if I apply Bernoulli's equation in two point we'll get this type of equation now here I am showing that Bernoulli's equation can be written in three different form right here so p1 by rho g plus v1 square by 2g plus z1 that is equal to constant that is equal to p2 by rho g plus v2 square by 2g plus z2 now this is p1 by rho g is nothing but pressure head unit is meter v1 square by 2g that is called kinetic head unit again meter and z1 is potential head unit is meter now we can express in other way also so that is p1 by rho plus v1 square by 2 plus g z1 is equal to p2 by rho plus v2 square by 2 plus g z2 so now here you have to see the unit so here p1 by rho means pressure energy per unit mass so that is joule per kg now when you write p1 by rho in form so unit you have to take care so that is joule per kg now if here p1 by rho g unit is meter 
now here v1 square by 2 so that is kinetic energy per unit mass and g z1 so that is potential energy per unit mass so remember the unit now another way you can also write so p1 plus rho v1 square by 2 plus rho g z1 is equal to p2 plus rho v square by 2 plus rho g z2 so here p1 is nothing but static pressure rho v1 square by 2 is kinetic energy per unit volume so now here kinetic energy per unit volume or pressure energy per unit volume and rho g z1 is nothing but potential energy per unit volume so you have to remember so here we are expression in different way of the bundle equation but remember the unit so unit is very important so that is important when we solve some problem so uh, during problem solving so units are very important if you don't have that clear conception of the unit so maybe that solving problem may may or may be wrong so that's it for this Bernoulli's equation as well as Euler equation thank you